Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ronnie Castillo and you're the the show, Crochet and Chef. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you're first time to stop to this channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and pardon me, happy family. Yeah, you see that llama right there? Yeah, no drama in this channel. And you see that one over there? Yes, well, you know me, I love llamas, and um, I like to have some anything in llamas. I have like these many other things in llamas. But anyway, so this video is gonna be a tutorial how you can make this beautiful basket, and this one right here, you see, and this is really really cute. I really love it, and so um. Let me show you the yarn, two mini colors. And this one you can find at um, Michael's. Yes, I found this yarn in Michael's. They have different colors. And so um, this is what I'm going to show you and the, um, and, and the video continue. Uh, what did you need, how much you need, but this is another color and you can find in these colors that you like pink and you like kind of like a rainbow different colors that's beautiful you can find something in this color and um and in the next and well continue this video i want to show you what tools you need to and this one look at this mm -hmm. this is beautiful i really love this color too well i love all the colors you know and everyone have different kind of you know, love your colors, some colors you don't like, some colors you like, you know. But uh, you can find this at Michael's or Joanne's, or you go to the website, to the Lime Brine website, and you can find this and maybe in different more colors than my store they don't have. Well, so we are going to start. Let's go get you get your tools, and um, and I'm going to tell you what I need, how much yarn you need, and I'm going to tell you everything. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it and super easy the only you have to do is is, is a change uh, i have double crochet and um a slip a slip stitch that's only you had to to um to do and this beautiful basket you can go to many runs that you want except that you like one more you have to get more yarn you know but let's start it for this one i want to tell you continue this video how much yarn you need and what else you need to for making this beautiful basket. Okay, so see you in a minute, guys. Okay, so this is the yarn we're gonna use for this uh, beautiful, um, this beautiful basket that I just show you, but we're gonna use this color. And the name for this one is this. This is what you can find, what is all, everything in this, in this yarn and you allergy to wood you can substitute it for just 100 percent acrylic they had to be super bulky number um six but they had you know that you want the um this had to be the size the yarn okay so you need to, we're gonna use we're, we're gonna need two of these okay and this is the name for this um yarn it's lion brine and like starting you're gonna need sorry you're gonna need a scissors a needle and and a stitch markers this you know i'm just giving you the options to you use that stitch markers and the yarn say you want to need use uh the 15 millimeters hooks but i'm going to use the number 10 because i don't want my basket get too loose i want my basket get a little bit tight so this will be much better okay so let's start it let me get the yarn from the middle and there we go i like this yarn guys because this yarn um it changed the colors that you see there's two different the most you crochet you go see the colors okay so we are going to store okay we're gonna do we're gonna make an, uh, a magic ring Okay, we're gonna chain two. Okay, we are going to work in size of this 
we're going to do 12 a half double crochet okay 12 okay so wrap your yarn get to the hook into the hole okay pull it through wrap your yarn in the hook and pull all through three okay we're gonna do it again okay and this is the way we are going to do all be around and i'll meet you at the end when we completely 12. count this one I'll, I'll, i will be count this one so we have one two and three so we need the next and i'll meet you at the end the number the last 12 okay okay so i, I finished 11 i'm going to finish the number 12. okay there we go so now this one right here because you when you was working you you can hide it but you if you don't know how you do it you know so you can hide when you don't your, your uh this part right here so if you hide it like i did it just pull pull it through like this pull it and they go be close okay so now we are going to do a slip stitch and this part right here because remember we did chain one chain two and we're going to uh, close and this part right here okay and pull it through now we chain one okay and we are going to do two in each that we did so we're gonna have 24 half double crochet 24 so two 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 okay here's one then again wrap your yarn okay okay so we're gonna do one more and the same okay go to the next and one more and the same So we had one, two, three, four. Keep going, continue, and I'll meet you at the end in this part right here. So total, we had to have 24 and a half double crochet. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, so I had two, four, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, right here. And the last one, that's gonna be 24. So total, we're gonna have 24 okay and we're gonna do finish with slip stitch there we go and close okay so now we are going to work one in each so right here let me chain one okay and right here to the next we're going to work one half double crochet here's one and to the next one double crochet okay so keep going all the or around okay so um sorry guys so total you're gonna have 24 because we have 24 in here so we're gonna make one in each and so you total you're gonna have 24 and i'll meet you at the end in here okay i'll be back okay so now i'm at the end so i have 23 in here sorry 22 because we're gonna count this one we're gonna have 23 with this one so we're gonna finish 24 okay and we're going to finish with slip stitch there we go okay chain one now in here so now you can see the chain the colors i really love it i really love it this yarn so we're gonna chain one okay and this is what we're gonna do in this round right here okay if you can get confused you know if you just um uh you knew to crochet or you know this is what the stitch this it is for so right here let me see sorry guys so right here is when you start right 
So when you finish, you come in this way, you know where you finish your last uh, uh, half double crochet, okay? So, so right here, wrap your yarn. And right here, we're going to do chain one. I mean, not chain one. Um, I have double crochet. Here's one. We're going to count this one, okay? And to the next, you're going to do two half double crochet and the same. Okay, go to the next, you're going to do one. Okay, and to the next, you're going to do two half double crochet. Okay, let's see, sorry guys. Okay, we said we're going to do two, right? Okay, so just keep going that way, okay? And just remember, it's one, it's one, two, one, two, one, two. And I meet two at the end and here, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, so right here, um, you see I, I did one in here. So in the last one, let's go be count two because we're going to count this one, okay? So we finish right here. You see this is where we start and this hole right here. That's gonna be finished. The last half double crochet. There you go. Okay. So now in here, you see this part right here. That's when you're going to do a slip stitch. And there you go. You see? Now chain one. Okay. You can move your stitch markers and put it in here. Okay. This is a round you're going to work. And here you're going to you're going to make one in each hole. Okay. This is all you're going to do all we around. And I'll meet you at the end. Oops, sorry. This part right here. Okay. And we can finish in here and do a slip stitch. Okay. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're done. Okay, you total you're gonna have 36 um half double crochet okay in this round right here we're gonna do a slip stitch the one that you started you saw this you stitch markers there we go okay and do a slip stitch there we go now you're going to do chain one okay and we're gonna do it this way so you can move your stitch markers if you like to okay and Put it in here. There we go. Okay. So you know this is the way you want to you going to be finished. The way you start coming this way. This is what you're gonna finish. Okay, no, now chain, we're gonna do chain with the chain one, wrap your yarn, and right here we're going to make one. Okay. Okay, and the next. I'm going to do chain one, not chain one, sorry. <laughs> one half double crochet, okay, and going to the next, okay, right here, one, two, and to the next, you're going to do two half double crochet and the same, okay, there we go. Go to the next, another half double crochet. There you go. One more half double crochet into the next. Okay. And to the next, you're going to do two half double crochet and the same. Okay. So you know what? You don't get confused. This is really easy. That's that's the way I learn, and that's the way it worked for me. But you can find your own way. Okay. So you're going to do one, two. We're going to count one, two. Three and four going together. One, two, three and four going together, always, okay? So again, one, two, okay? And to the next three and four go in the same. There we go. You see that? So keep going and I'll meet you at the end of here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm at the last one. Okay, we did one, two, and one, and one more at the last one. 
okay oops sorry what i'm doing <laughs> oh my goodness there you go okay now we're gonna finish with slit stitch there you go okay and you can move your stitch markers uh right here okay now right here we're going to do um chain one okay and what we're going to do is this way Write your yarn you see this part right here we're going to work in the back okay here's the first one okay and wrap your yarn you see these two this one this one and this one let me see okay these two right here you see okay this is what we're going to do oops sorry so in these two bring your yarn and all through okay wait a minute I'm telling you. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey, mistake, you still see it. Okay, that is mistake. <laughs> okay, so um we are going to work and and these two right here. You see these two? This is the back. We're gonna get these two right here. Okay. This is all we're going to go. Okay. We're not going to work in this one. We're going to work in this and this. We're going to get these two together. These two right here, these two together. Okay. Wrap your yarn. Okay. Not like this, not like this. No. Okay. We're going through and these two, bring your yarn. You're going to have one, two, three of your yarn and pull all through a half double crochet and keep going oh we're gonna do each one and each hole you see to the next okay this is what we're gonna do and i meet you at the end this is right here okay now be back okay so i'm at the end and remember, we're working with the two right here in the back, okay? And we finish the last half double crochet, and these two right here, we're going to do a slit stitch, finish, okay? And there we go. Now we're going to do chain one, okay? move the stitch and with the stitch markers and move right here okay this is what we want this one this design and this basket so you see the different in this part right here so this is what we want this is the design we want so keep going this is this is the row number one um well not the one but you know the start part of this design this is a row number one but we actually, we end the round, let me see. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. We end the round number seven. So, so you, you're not get confused. Put your stitch marker, okay? This is the first round. And to the next, this could be the second round. So we keep going and we're going to work to the eight, to the nine, to the uh, round number nine. And I'll meet you at the end at the number nine. Okay, keep going the same thing, okay? Uh, chain one, okay? Wrap your yarn. Come through. And the next, oops, sorry guys. There we go. You see, I got these two right here in the back. Put it through and put all these three through. Wrap your yarn, going to the next. You see, one, two, three, four. You remember, we had to have four. Pull through and pull all through. Okay? 
So this is the design we want. The same we did in here. This is all in each round we're going. So I'll meet you at the end, number, uh, number nine. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm at the round number eight. That's the last one. So I just finished one in here. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, and put all your yarn through. Okay. So that way you can um, finish your project. Okay. Well, the basket. But we're going to put a more other details in the basket. Okay. Get your scissors. Okay. Get okay, Just cut it like a couple, you know, so that way you can let it a little bit long so that way you can hide the yarn. Okay. Now. This is the basket, but just wait, okay? You are going to put some yarn in there. Okay, that's gonna be more easy for you to show you what I what you're gonna do, okay? So let me put that way, okay? That's the basket, that's not big basket. If you have more yarn, you can continue and do more rounds. But I'm not going to do no more rounds because this yarn is really super stretch, you know. So what we're going to do right here, okay, uh, let me put the basket this side right here. And the yarn and the yarn left over, okay, we're going to lift this part right here to here. Uh, it can be wet um let me get my there's not there's not had to be in a specific how much it just depend you know how much you want to so you're going to do some centimeters we're going to inches to zero in here you're going to like maybe like four inches okay like I said, they don't have to be exactly just four inches. Okay, uh, we're going to we're gonna make cha uh, twenty change. Okay, this does not count. This is the one you secure your work. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do chain twenty one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, keep going, and I meet you at the end of number twenty. Okay, so I have my twenty. Okay, you're gonna lift four, four, um, four inches, or what you can do is fold this in a half, and. This is where you're going to cut it. Okay. If they shouldn't let me cut it. <laughs> I'm telling you, when you're recording all the stuff you use, all your tools, they, oh Lord, sorry. And pull it through. Okay. You're going to make the same, the same this one you did. You're going to make in three more. Total, you're going to have four, okay? Because this one we're going to use for the handles. But you're going to see where we're going to put this super easy. You know how to use the hooks no more. Just, just, um, this is the only. Just make in four. You have only one, three more, and I'll be back. And, I'm, and I'll be back when we have the, uh, the four of this, okay? Okay, so we had the four of these, the 20, you make 20 change. And what I tell you, put the yarn in here. This is what we're going to do, okay? In each corner, you don't have to count in and nothing. This is super easy. Just whatever you like to put in here. That's what I tell you, leave, leave a little extra because you're going to tie. So we're going to get one, two. Oh, right here, you see the hole right here? This is what we're gonna put this, okay? And make sure this one go that way. 
you know you can see the design the um the change okay and just tie it super easy okay i'd like to make it another one do it okay and put it back so now this one going and to the next go to the other side right here okay try to keep going this way okay okay let me get the whole entire thing okay and that way you know how to leave it just like that you know whatever you feel comfortable just feel comfortable to do just make it another one but let me get through again okay okay wait that's why you're gonna need your needle so you wait you can hide your um the yarn extra okay so now we're going to get the next okay we're going to put in the same the which is finished okay the same thing okay just tie okay the same thing you want to do with it right here you're going to do in the same thing this part right here okay but let me tell you something let me show you something first okay now you can hide it or you can tie it together just like this okay and let it this like a just something just decoration like this okay now what you want to do is put roll over like this roll it okay coming this way do it one more time get inside like this get one more time and there we go this is what we want okay and right here you're going to do the same thing tie okay we can do one more just tie it the way you like to feel better you know comfortable okay and this is what we want let me put my this this is what we want so the same with it we did this one do it in this side and i'll meet you at the end where we finish the next holder the next uh, handle for this basket okay right now they look weird look like a what but you're gonna see when you put all this um now you can let me show you you know what let me show you okay right here okay you can use this part right here when you're done when you finish the uh the last round just tie okay do it one more time there we go and come through this right here put it down up down i mean not in that not in the top you know you can put it in the top or you can put it down right here okay whatever you feel comfortable see we're not going to use the hook no more in here because we're done with the hook and just tie it you see tie it and do it one more okay you can put in uh, sorry you can't tie it okay whatever you feel comfortable many times you want to tie it this is it to you you know I do like a two or three now the next okay I'm going to do right here the one that I just finished okay and i'm just going to tie there we go okay like i said tie it and the way you like to tie now 
and one more secure just put these two and tie there we go now right here the same thing we did in this one we're going to do in these two colors do one two three and four okay not too many because you don't want this get to really like you know they're not gonna look good just four but no less okay just tie here okay and you can tie these two together just as uh, you see i did just only one there you go let me do one more because this basket everyone you can use for your project or for your um just decoration you know you can put your yarn in there you know and they can hold some the project project um now you see this the, i'm gonna leave right there i have this left over the dish yarn so i'm going to use and i'm going to cut uh like at least 10 um let me see did we say let me see how much it is 10 inches okay 10 inches and this is what you're gonna do okay right here and the way you tie this is just you want to okay you don't have to but if it's just you want to and get more at least you're gonna cut ten you're gonna cut four for each corner so at least you're gonna have to you have to cut it 12 of this 10 um 10 inches 10 inches and in each one you told you're gonna have 12 pieces and i'll be back uh when you cut it and uh just cut it and and I meet you at the last right here, then we're gonna put together, okay? I'm going to start putting in the next one. Just the same, just hold it like this and a half, okay? Hold it like this, and go in the hole right here, the where you tie your, and you see this right here, put all this, and pull it through okay so it's just decoration you know your basket and just something like look cute you know so keep going and um and i'll be back when i'll be done with this basket and this pretty much and now if you want to leave it just like this or you want to just hide this or cut it you can cut it and you're done with this basket but i'll be back when i finish put all this part of the let's be i want to use all the rest of the yarn Okay, and so that's pretty much, you see the basket, how they look? That's my ma my messy, crazy basket, you know? And you can uh, put in more yarn if you want to. I just put four so you can see, you know, they can care more um, the four, you know? And I like the, uh, the way we put it like this together and the crazy things right here you know so i think it's a pretty nice basket um the colors is so beautiful and um let me show you the other ones the other basket and all the colors and let me turn my phone to the other side so what do you think did you like it did you enjoy making this beautiful basket i am i really 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 enjoy making this beautiful basket like i tell you you can do with the tassels crazy tassel like this then i had to you know uh get the same size you know it's it just like you can make it in two different options without and with the tassels too look at this beautiful colors and look in here mm -hmm. yes look at this color this is the color you can uh whatever color you like this is all you when you don't what did you gonna have in this beautiful basket i really love it and hey this doesn't have to be just basket they have to be a bag you you know you can carry your um 
crochet uh, your crochet or knitting project you can handle whatever you know it's super easy super fun i really enjoy making this beautiful basket i uh, hopefully you are it's another um i'm going to show you another video using all the side all the other kind of yarn i'm going to do another tutorial the same thing quick and really simple nothing you know change the stitch or whatever no this will be kind of the same thing but we're going to use another yarn the um because you probably you added it with some fiber because this one like i like i show you this one they have wool so they had 20 percent wood and 20 percent lining and or well, line with wood some people they allergy with that so i'm going to show you one that you can do with just only 100 percent acrylic because most of everybody can work with 100 percent acrylic i can work with this you know some people they like they can't stand that touching because of allergy um but yes thank you guys i really appreciate it i hopefully you enjoy making this beautiful basket and please 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 if you're making this beautiful basket just send me a picture to my email i have my email instagram and facebook group and here this video description box below i really want to see it i want to share in my um in my social media you know youtube i mean yeah youtube community you know and um my um facebook group and my uh instagram but thank you guys thank you very 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 much and see you in the next video we're gonna make an, another basket with different yarn so you can use in different yarns and the same design but in different yarn and we still have the look you know so see thank you guys and have a wonderful wonderful yarn day and see you in the next video bye guys